died. Before we knew it, the good luck met our oil. Our oil had a bad luck and poured away. Before we knew it, the good luck met our Naira. Our Naira had a bad luck. Where are we going? What is the fate of this country? Shall we continue to experience the bad luck? We need change. As I'm speaking with you, most of our civil servants did not celebrate their Christmas. The Christmas season that should be a good luck season became a bad luck time for our Nigerians. Forget you know that very soon, from 3rd January, the students will go back to school and the parents are going to pay school fees. From where? Are they going to use their urine to pay? I mean, are they going to use their urine? But you have to drink. Where is the good water? Even if they are going to use their urine. Are they going to use their stool to pay the school fees of their children? You have to eat well now to defecate. I mean that every prophetic voice in this country should open. All the muzzled voices should open. Even if you are bought over, drop whatever they have given you and speak for the destiny of these our children. What is the fate of our children? Tears will fill my eyes. Watching our young men, our graduates, hopelessly walking along the streets. What is the meaning of kidnapping? Kidnapping is a grandson of unemployment. Boko Haram is a grand, great, great child of the same unemployment, mass looting, poor governance. I don't say that good luck is a bad man. He is a good man, but he cannot lead Nigeria. As things stand right now, from the oracle of the Holy Spirit, Jonathan should quietly resign, honorable heir. And let Nigeria be. The destiny of Nigeria is greater than good luck, Jonathan. The good luck in the Jonathan has become a bad luck to Nigerians. Whatever brought him in should send him back. And let Nigeria be. A city without any hope. Let me tell you, by this time, in few months to come, many are going to lose their jobs. And there is no alternative. During the election, Jonathan will answer Azikiwe and answer Ebere and become an evil man. After the election, the Ebere and the good luck and the Azikiwe will vanish from his identity. Who is fully who actually? Look at our federal roads. We are not even asking for new ones. Roads built by Buhari and Babangidas, the so-called Awosa people, cannot be maintained. Follow Enugu here to go to Anisha. Children born some years ago do not know again that there was a lane along the other side of a zag. And we are all saying continue, continue. The continuity of Jonathan means disaster to Nigeria. We need change. May the Holy Spirit help me to vocalize what he has given to me while I was waiting on him. To give me a message to my people. I am worried about the future of you, my children. 
Go to school, go to school. Mention any government school that is functional in Nigeria now. Our schools have dilapidated. Nigeria, like an egg, is about breaking in the hand of Jonathan. Good luck. And we cannot allow it to happen. It is so unfortunate that pastors are becoming vultures around the president. Pastors are becoming hawks. Hungry essos around him. Eating the porridge of Jacob and selling their prophetic rights. Anointing is being merchandised in Asorok. Some carrying our Naira turning it into dollars in jets moving out of the country. Listen. This is a voice from the pulpit. All these men of God who are telling Jonathan to continue because they are benefiting one thing or the other. You should better question your yeah? apostolic prophetic anointing. What the Bible says that Samson the strong did not know that the Holy Spirit has left him. Watch whether the Holy Spirit is still there. When a man is eating well and the children are hungry, is that man worthy to be a father? A mama who should be wearing clothes and eating very well and the children are naked, famished with hunger. Mama Rija for Ria Femarama, Umaka.